Hi guys, welcome to the fifth and final part of the um, creating a simple form in JavaScript for um, as the final project of the JavaScript chapter. And let's uh, continue. And I'm going to show you how you can. Um, I'm going to create a function that um, confirms that your two passwords uh, are matching. Okay. Otherwise, you'll have an output saying please uh, or your password does not match um, with your confirmed password does not match with your password uh, so to do that let's go up here and we have to create a new function here let's call it um, pass and curly braces here and here let's type um, variable first equals to document dot um, get element by ID and grab the password dot and the value and now uh, second and grab the confirm password so we have to type get element by ID and this is C password value so now we can grab whatever you type in there and make sure that we can um, compare those two values that you typed in the first password and in the second password so we're going to use the variable first and second and now we can create if second password is exactly equal uh, to first let's type uh, document get element by ID and here we type um, MC password which is basically the div here it is it's the div where we want to output the message so the message we want to output output sorry is um, okay because they match okay uh, and here we can type else I can grab this copy it get element by ID MC password in an HTML and here what I'm gonna do is create a span and style equals color red and type something saying um, your password passwords uh, don't match okay save that and now uh, what we will do is um, remember I told you in the last video that uh, as as soon as we type something we will see the output coming so to do that we have to use an event called uh, basically like the on click but it's called uh, on key up and for each uh, one of the fields so we have to type on key up here um, and we're gonna call sorry we have to call here the register function okay uh, and we don't need this here down here in the input anymore or in the submit button so register here we can copy this and put it in here in the email 
in the password and in the C password. Okay, so for every each time we um, type something in each field, the function will be called and we'll see the results. Uh, let me try this, see if it's working. Uh, but sorry, I forgot just to mention you one very important thing. In the last one is password or pass. Okay, because um, in the last one we are confirming with the function pass if the confirmed password is equal to the password. So you have to type here instead of register, type pass. Now I think we are uh, done with the code. Let's uh, try now and type uh, here Victor and nothing is happening so something is wrong with the code just let me check okay so here uh, we have a problem which is I typed instead of semicolon I typed a dot at the end of the values here inside the function pass that's why it's not working now everything should work fine let's type something now and there it is uh, so this is it. Uh, if as soon as we type, we have uh, confirmation of the output. Okay, now it's okay. Let's type something here. Okay, and um, the password one two three four five, and here one two three four six. Um. Okay, sorry, let me check just one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, six. Yeah, that's it. So if I type six, your passwords don't match. Let's go back and type a five, and that's it. Okay, everything is working perfectly. Obviously, uh, this is not uh, a very um, exact or very, very uh, complex um, form or um, in terms of security and sending information for the server uh, for example you see that uh, even when if I type just a D it says okay so this is not a valid email just a D so in the PHP chapter I'm going to show you how you can um, uh, make sure that the user uh, types a valid email so we will avoid uh, the user sending uh, wrong information to the server and to the database. I'm going to show you all that in PHP. But for now, this is just a quick demonstration of um, what JavaScript can do. And you can still play a little bit more with the code, change a few little things. Um, you, can, um, you can expand uh, this um, form with more CSS if you want to make it more um, with more colors and more effects but um, the main thing is that you start to understand how JavaScript works in a very simple way and step by step you will learn more and more um, and start doing more uh, complex things with JavaScript in the jQuery chapter jQuery is a library of JavaScript and basically is um, it's part of JavaScript and works with JavaScript you'll learn uh, with jQuery uh, how to create more complex uh, forms with a lot of more um, effects okay guys so don't worry you'll get to that and um, hope you like this uh, chapter and see you guys in the next chapter PHP and MySQL bye